All right, let's verify this first identity. Uh, the cosine of alpha minus beta over the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta is equal to the cotan of alpha plus the tan of beta. I'm going to start by rewriting cosine alpha minus beta using the difference formula. Gives us cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta all over sine alpha cosine beta. And using one of the strategies that we learned in the last section, we're going to rewrite this as two separate terms or two separate fractions. And so in the first, the cosine, uh, the first term here, the cosine beta cancels out. We get cosine alpha over sine beta, which is cotan alpha. And it would be plus on the in the second term the sine alpha is cancel and you get sine beta over cosine beta which is tan beta and we have verified this identity um, our side is equal to the right hand side so at this point I'm going to have you do a similar problem in the practice uh, and there's two practice problems I'd like you to try so pause the video um, verify these two and start the video up again Okay, again in this first one we have the cosine of alpha minus beta. So we'll use the difference formula for cosine. So rewriting the left hand side is cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta all over sine alpha sine beta. Again rewriting this as two terms. So writing this as two we get cosine alpha over sine alpha, which is cotan alpha. We get cosine beta over sine beta, which is cotan beta. In the second fraction, both the sines and uh, both sine alphas and sine betas cancel out, giving you one. So let's try our last um, problem here. This time, we're going to use the sine of a difference. So I've got the sine of pi over two minus theta is equal to cosine of theta. This is the co-function identity that we looked at before and we use the unit circle to show that this was true. We used some examples but we didn't actually prove it and so we can verify using these identities. So the sine of pi over 2 minus the pi over 2 minus theta will rewrite. So we have the sine of pi over 2, the cosine of theta minus the cosine of pi over 2 times the sine of theta the sine of pi over 2 is 1, so we're going to get 1 times the cosine of theta minus the cosine of pi over 2 is 0 times the sine of theta. So this term cancels out because of the 0 and you're left with cosine theta. And so we just verified the co-function identity for sine cosine. So we've looked at a few identities dealing with the cosine of a sum or a difference and we had an example of a problem that used the sine of a difference and so now we want to look at a tangent problem and so the identity for the tangent of a sum is this the tangent of alpha plus beta is equal to tan alpha plus tan beta over 1 minus tan alpha tan beta and so for this one we're actually going to use the identities for sine and cosine to verify this trig identity and so I'll start by rewriting tan alpha plus tan beta as the sine over the cosine. Starting with tan alpha plus beta, I rewrite this as sine alpha plus beta over cosine alpha plus beta, just using my quotient identity. From here, and I try to work underneath when I can, but just to save space I'm actually going to work across. I'm going to use the sum and difference formulas for, in this case, sum formulas for sine and cosine. So we've got for the numerator sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. In the denominator we have cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. And so I know that I'm trying to manipulate this expressions until we can basically reach the right hand side. So I look at this one, I know I have a sum and a difference just like in the right hand side here. I want to get a 1 
as a first term in the denominator. When I figure out how to get a 1, I would really need to divide by cosine alpha cosine beta to get a 1 here. And so what I need to do is divide both the numerator and the denominator by cosine alpha cosine beta. That basically means to divide every single term by cosine alpha cosine beta. First dividing the numerator by cosine alpha cosine beta, then divide the denominator by cosine alpha cosine beta. I'm going to rewrite this. Having divided each term by cosine alpha cosine beta, all four terms, I'm going to cancel. So we've got the cosines, the cosines cancel in the first term, the cosines cancel in the second term, in the denominator both the cosine and uh, both cosine alpha and beta is canceling to get one and then nothing cancels here but now we'll just simplify what we have so in the first term sine alpha over cosine alpha is tan alpha and then plus sine beta over cosine beta is tan beta dividing anything by itself is one we've got minus sine alpha over cosine alpha is tan alpha sine beta over cosine beta is tan beta. And so we have verified the identity for tangent. At this point I would like to leave it up to you to verify the tangent of a difference formula and you can do it in a similar fashion as we did in the last example and then you know pause the video and then once you complete the problem start the video again and check your work. I'm going to start by rewriting tangent as sine over cosine. Having done that, we'll now rewrite using the sine of a difference and the sine and the cosine of a difference. So using the the formula for the sine of a difference, we get our new numerator using the formula for the cosine of a difference, we get our new denominator. We know our job is to make the left-hand side look like the right hand side and we keep manipulating it until we make that happen and so again in order to get a 1 in the denominator I'm going to need to divide every term by cosine alpha cosine beta. Dividing each term by cosine alpha cosine beta we can now simplify. So in the first term this expression right here, we're going to get sine, if we get sine over cosine of alpha, which is going to be tan alpha, and the cosine beta is cancel. In the second term in the numerator, the cosines cancel, and I get sine beta over cosine beta, which is tan beta. In the denominator, both the cosines cancel in the first term, leaving us with 1, plus we get sine over cosine of alpha, which is tan alpha, and we get sine over cosine of beta, which is tan beta. And we have verified the identity for the difference of, or for the tangent of the difference of an angle. So in later lessons, we'll be using the strategies that we learned um, in simplifying trigonometric expressions, verifying trig identities to help us actually solve trigonometric equations.